hey guys and welcome back to my channel it is your girl Mpo. if you are new here hey sis what is good if you turn a subscriber thank you so much for constantly watching my content today's video is the beginning of a new segment called real and rare with your girl Mpo. <laughs> real and rare if you guys know you know that i like to bear it all i like to be very honest about how i feel about things i like to share my opinion on a lot of things um and so this segment is basically just for that i'm going to have it solo sessions and I'm also going to have maybe some of my friends come over. We'll see how we navigate it throughout the different episodes. But I started the segment solely because I wanted to share my opinions on certain things. And I also wanted to hear what other people think or what experiences they have to share about certain topics. You know, so the topics I think will vary. They will vary to put out a new episode something that is maybe trending during the week or something that just crosses my mind and i'll just have a segment and a video on that and we can actually have an open discussion in the comment section um and you guys can just let me know what you think so this first episode is going to be about some of the things that i wish i knew before i got married um this topic is i don't want to it's it's very close to my heart because for one, there are so many things, so many things that I, I feel I did not know genuinely and things that maybe I was not too prepared for. Um, and it's, it's funny because with marriage, it's such a, you just learn as you go. You know, I, I always hear people say, let's say you've been living with your partner for a long time and you guys decide to get married you still continue as girlfriend and boyfriend but the truth is there's a change in dynamics once you get married i, I don't it's not always intentional it's not like you go um about it in a manner by saying um hey we are going to change i think it's just a natural gravitation towards a different lane um as opposed to staying in the same lane that you guys were in when you were dating there are a lot of things that we take for granted as as people who are not married let's say even if you're in a serious, serious relationship there are a lot of things that you you don't really think through until you're married and you're like well damn maybe that was that that that, that maybe that was you know um just a different journey so with me um the one thing that i wish i was more prepared for was the the identity crisis um once i got married i feel like i didn't know who and how to be <laughs> i don't okay let me explain let me elaborate further so prior to getting married i would you know go out with friends party there were certain things that i was into like going out by myself there were certain things that i i i just enjoyed as an individual right um once i got married i didn't okay but besides the fact that it was locked down right i didn't know if do i still go on being i don't want to say the wild girl because i was never really wild but do we still go out and party and stay out until 2 a.m or do i now change and say no I, I'm, I'm not going out up until that time because now that i'm my wife i have to be different you know uh, maybe i can't sleep over at a friend's house for two days or i can't just go home anytime any day um without maybe alarms going off with my family and things like that i feel like i i hit a brick wall because i felt like who am i now who am i now in this moment who am i now in this journey okay so it's like poor the varsity girl has has finished up finished varsity so i'm no longer that girl okay poor the i just got my first job i'm going out to my bonnet by myself i'm just living my best life Mpo has sort of that's not her anymore who is this Mpo now do you understand am i more serious am i what are what are my goals are my goals still the same or do they need to align with the goals that my partner has it's it's like once you get another surname also i don't know maybe it's it's deeply rooted maybe also in tradition to say 
no mpo because I, I was like wondering to myself does mpo mpshe die or she still lives within me but then now mpo matlabe is a rebirth of her you know so i think there was just um an identity crisis that i i feel i went through that i didn't actually talk to anyone about because i didn't really know how to vocalize it or how to put it into words like even now you're probably thinking huh we don't really get it but you get it um so i was i was extremely confused as soon as who am i um now in this journey do i change or do i still do the same things and go about my business the same way um another thing the second thing that i think i wish i knew was how lonely it can get <laughs> you know prior to getting married I don't want to say I was a social butterfly. I don't really consider myself to be someone who's ex like extremely social. Um, I do pull back a bit when it comes to being social and interacting with people. But I, I, I think I had a closer relationship with my friends. Like they would call me, hey, um, are we going out? Hey, do you want to do this? Hey. Like they would invite me to things. And I feel like after I got married, my friends sort of, I don't want to say they ditched me but i think maybe also they thought that maybe that's what i wanted or maybe that's what was expected of them so oh it got very lonely it got very lonely because i just felt like man my friends are doing things without me man my family are going out without me man i'm not spending christmas with my family remember it was a routine for me it was a i'm used to doing this i'm used to doing this now I'm not doing that anymore. Man, these people aren't inviting me to places anymore. But they're still going to these places. Man, it's so lonely. It, it really was such a... There are still times now where I feel like, man, this is this journey is, is, is so lonely. It's not... It's not easy. It's not... Man, there's so many things that happen and you have to maybe keep them... You have to keep them to yourself because you feel like other people will not understand it it can be such a such a lonely journey you know and i think when i first got married for the first three months it was nice okay it was just me and my husband and then it was kind of like yo but where are my friends where are my friends so that we can talk about beyonce where are my friends so that we can talk about break my soul where are my friends so that we can do some of the things that were natural for me and to me you know um, so I, it, it, it tends to get a bit lonely, but also considering the fact that I'd, I'd like to think I live very far. I live very far from my friends. I'm all the way in Johannesburg South. My friends, majority of them are around Pretoria, um, back in Northwest. So it does get very lonely um, around here. And I just wish like my friends included me a little bit more instead of, cause I, I just felt like they were just like, girl, bye. You know, like they just dropped me off and they left and they never looked back. Um, so that's that's another thing is it's how lonely it can get. But also another thing that I wish I knew prior to getting married is how much pressure people would put on you to be a parent. This one for me has been the most... I don't want to say tormenting but somehow tormenting because um i don't know why in this day and age when things have changed so much and we grow so much and there's a change in technology and you know how people reproduce and all of that but um there are some things that people assume are a must for married women you know i hate how when i go anywhere like literally when i go anywhere to a funeral to a tombstone unveiling it's always when are you guys having a child when are you guys having a child when like can everybody maybe just pause you know 
it gets so overwhelming because sometimes people don't even know your financial situation you know they don't know that you guys at this point in time cannot afford to have a child or people don't know that maybe you guys are having fertility issues or people don't know that like there are so many things that could be happening behind the scenes that people are not aware of but constantly bringing oh you guys could have just had a miscarriage you know we don't always talk about everything you know and you don't just open up to everyone about such things but it gets to me because i feel like my value as a woman or a married woman is only attached to my womb whereas i'm i'm so good at other things and i'm good for other things also but it just feels like they dim the lights on other accolades as if to say the most important accolade would be to have a child or to reproduce you know irrespective of whether they know my situation or they know what i'm going through or not and for me it is oh it is so exhausting um it's it's something that i don't enjoy talking about it's something that i don't enjoy constantly hearing because it's as though the only value i hold is reproduction wise and I'm, I'm 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 so good for other things i feel like when i meet up with people ask me other things oh you just graduated how's that going ask me like just ask me how's your mom just how are you how's the marriage like you know how does it feel to be a married woman three years later or you know just anything besides just tying my womanhood and my femininity to just that one aspect which is reproduction you know whether i choose to have children or not that is that's my business whether we choose not to have children that's also my business but it's it's, it's also sad how we cannot vocalize because already people assume that just because you're married it's a must that it needs to happen you know so it's it's also something that I, I wish i knew because when we were dating and girlfriend and boyfriend there wasn't really a lot of that nobody really asked me um such questions or anything like that but now it's oh it's so extreme and i i adhor it like to the core of my soul i adhor it i just feel like just let me be just let us be let us enjoy let us navigate um, this marriage thing together and figure things out little if ever we decide to have children great if ever we don't decide to have children also great you know but it, it shouldn't really be anyone's business at that um, another thing that I wish I knew or I was better prepared for was the you know how when you date people be it your ex ne? How, how do I live out? every single person teaches you something right everyone in your life who has maybe who's no longer in your life taught you something whether you were aware of it or whether you were not aware of it sometimes it's not just the good people also teach you very bad traits um everybody has a way of bringing a different side out of you what i wish i knew is how to separate all of my experiences and be more present in the current experience not just on my side but also on my husband's side you know i wish we could have not even could have I, I wish we could have i wish we could find a better way of navigating <laughs> marriage as us now and not maybe us prior to being married or us do get off do you understand for example i'm going to make an example if ever my ex did something to me i i shouldn't bring that baggage into this relationship because this has happened to me do you understand let's say my ex's toxic trait was if i didn't answer my phone he would freak out i'm making an example i wish in my head, that's second nature. I didn't just quickly, if let's say my husband is calling me and I'm busy with something and I don't immediately answer my phone, like, let's say, I, I become like, oh, you know, I wish I didn't have to bring some of the toxic things that other people 
attached to me or brought out of me into my relationship because what i realize is we are all different people with different people you know with my ex i could have been this version with my husband now i'm a different version so i wish there was a way to somehow separate those past experiences and those toxic natures from both sides and that we, we, we found a better way to navigate um, marriage without really including some of the things. Like, I'm not your ex, you're not my ex. You know, that song by Jesse Jane, I'm not my ex, you're not my ex. Let's just meet here in the middle. Talk to me how you want to be talked to. Let's communicate now in the present. Let's let's do things now in the present and not attach it to foreign experiences that both of us are not liable for. Another thing that I wish I knew is how important it is to have a support system. I think I did not invest well enough in my support system why i say this is because naturally i'm i'm not someone who who takes help or who likes to ask for help i like to do things on my own i don't really like to be celebrated like that so i get out the bit i don't like anything that really makes me the center of attention i enjoy being at other people's birthday parties and having the attention on them and not really having people make things about me. So even growing up, I've always been sort of a very independent person. If I have issues or whatever, I normally try to sort out my problems on my own. But being married, because this is a different experience for me, I wish, I really, really, really wish I would have developed a sort of a, a stronger support system so that when things are happening in my life, I know who to run to. Do you understand because it's hard to try and navigate everything on your own and i i know you know when you go to um premarital counseling your pastor sits both of you down and um you get to ex like you talk you talk about a lot of things you share like how both of you were you, you grew up how you were raised because some of those things they they contribute to day-to-day -day living like in a house right you, you talk about maybe your spending habits, your partner's spending habits. You talk about how you navigate problems. Um, are you someone who faces problems head on? Are you someone who runs away from problems? Are you someone who wants to solve the problem here and now without maybe considering your partner's feelings or all those kind of things? I just feel like for me, I did not create um, a strong enough support system because i always wanted everyone to think i was strong and i was I, I i've got this you know so when i didn't get this or i didn't i hate no she was hitting the fan i didn't really know who to call or who to talk to who to confide in because naturally i'm someone who likes to sort things out on her own but when you when you're married you need or you need a backbone, you need a strong backbone, you know, be it your mom, be it your grandmother, be it, I don't know, a friend, a sister, though, you know, as, as when you get married, and all of that, you know, but we all need someone who we can vent to. I feel like only now am I a bit more able to express myself and, you know, call someone and say, you know what, friend, I'm not doing well this is what's bothering me one two three four five has happened and i don't know how to navigate it i don't even need advice but i just need someone to listen you know sometimes that's really all it takes it just takes having someone listen to your venting session and not even not even give you advice not say okay I, you must do this or in no sometimes it just takes somebody else listening and then i starting to talk about different things and i'm just feeling a whole lot better you know just having someone on this is what's going on you know so i i am only navigating that now but had i been able to get a really strong person who i could lean on fully 
earlier on i feel like i would have dealt with a lot of issues um in the past quite easier and i would have navigated them easier than i did because wow you know it's, it's 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 really not just a walk in the park um and another thing is i i, I wish i had maybe married friends so that we can bounce off different like bounce different things off of each other um you know with me i feel like if i confide in you and you never really say anything to me about your relationship whatever i'll stop i'll stop because somehow then it, it it alludes to the fact that maybe you your relationship is perfect or why are your problems off limits but mine are you know i'm free to share and everything so i wish i had more married friends or really grown up around more married people um just so i can better understand the day-to-day -day dynamics um you know it's it's also funny how not great like hohola was na example of a good marriage around you you then go into a marriage having to figure everything out yourself you know but had i feel like maybe had i had a uncle or an aunt who was in a a very a good example of a relationship i i, I would have maybe been i'm giving it a bit better it would have been a little bit easier but because i didn't really have anyone that i knew that i could say yeah i look up to their marriage or even now now that i think about it she you know it's funny actually once you get married you realize you can't really look up to anyone's marriage because everyone's marriage has its own flaws just like with a relationship just like i laugh when i see people say oh i'm so envious of their relationship or i'm so envious of you just every relationship has its own flaws every every person we are flawed we are flawed um that's just how god made us do you understand so hey i just feel like maybe if i had a better example that i had grown up and around and maybe given back influence he did different and maybe i would have navigated certain things differently but because i didn't have that example i really had to figure out everything out like everything on my own for the most part i had to always remind myself you know you put yourself in this predicament you have to navigate everything by yourself figure it out by yourself and i wish that really wasn't really wasn't the case um so yeah i just feel like these are some of the things it's not really everything because if i really mention everything guys we will be sitting here until infinity and i don't want to edit until infinity so i'll just keep breaking it up and then if there are some things that i still feel along the way we will engage in the comment section but apart from that yes guys this is the first episode of real and rare i try to talk really um slower than i usually do because i'm often told that i speak very fast i i i it's always been a weakness of mine since i was very young so all i'm trying to say is we all go through things it's not a it's a rewarding journey but it's not an easy one you know i wake up every day and i look at my husband and i'm like oh man we've we've come a long way at some point we wanted to kill each other but you know we were able to navigate and sort things out so i'm always grateful for the journey for the lessons for the tears everything you know it comes with all the emotions sometimes you're overwhelmed sometimes you're underwhelmed sometimes you're satisfied and sometimes you're not um but leaving is not an option for now so as as long as we're still able to sort things out i feel like there will always be hope you know so yeah this is just me bearing it all um on my first episode of real and rare and um, it's very rare lately to find people who are just authentic and real and genuine at that and share their own experiences and thoughts genuinely so so i think that's really the one thing that motivated this segment more than anything is how i'm just burying myself genuinely to you guys and 
sharing my own experiences genuinely without any malice um, or malicious intent at that you know so it's just a learning experience for all of us you guys me it's a constant learning um curve and i just hope that you guys enjoy the segment let me know in the comment sections what you think um or some of the things that you maybe in a long-term relationship that you wish you knew or you were better prepared for and let's just engage and just have meaningful conversations so this brings us to the end of this video if you have gotten this far thank you so much for watching don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video Toodles. Wow.